Storm Fiona ravaged Canada east coast, causing terrifying destruction. Power Storm Fiona ripped into eastern Canada on Saturday with hurricane force wind, forcing evacuations, knocking down trees and power lines, and reducing many homes on the coast to just a pile of rubble in the ocean. The U.S. National Hurricane Center said the centers of the storm downgraded to post-tropical cyclone Fiona. Had reached the Gulf of Saint Lawrence after racing through Nova Scotia. After taking its toll on Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island, the storm battered Newfoundland and eastern Quebec, but it's now likely to weaken. The NHC said. Port Oxbasky, on the southwest tips of Newfoundland, with population of four thousand and sixty-seven. Declare a state of emergency and evacuated parts in the town that has suffered flooding and roads washed out, according to Major Brian Button. Several homes and apartments building were dragged out to sea. Ren Roy, editor in chief of Wrecked House Weekly in Port Oxbask, told the Canadian Broadcasting Corp, "This is handing down the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life." Roy said, describing many homes as just a pile of rubble in the ocean right now. He added, "There's an apartment building that literally gone. There are entire streets that are gone. Police are investigating whether a woman had been swept to the sea." CBC reported, "We have gone through a very difficult morning," Button said in a Facebook video, adding that the evacuation had been completed. "We'll get through this. I promise you, we'll get through it." The Prime Minister Justin Trudeau held a meeting on Saturday morning with member of government emergency response team. Our government stand ready to support the provinces with additional resources, Trudeau said in a tweet. Fiona, which nearly a week ago battered Puerto Rico and other parts of Caribbean, killed at least eight and knocked out power for virtually all of Puerto Rico's 3.3 million people during a sweltering heat wave. Storms are not uncommon in the region and typically cross over rapidly, but Fiona is accepted to impact a very large area. While scientists have not been determined whether climate change influenced Fiona's strength or behavior, there is strong evidence that these devastating storms are getting worse. In Nova Scotia, about 69 percent of customers, or 360 thousands, were without power, and 95 percent. Or more than eighty-two thousands has lost power on Prince Edward Island. Utility companies said police across the region reported multiple roads closures. The region was also experiencing spotty mobile phone service. Mobile and Wi-Fi provider Roger Communication said it was aware of outage caused by Fiona and that crews would work to restore service as quickly as possible. This morning, we all woke up to something very scary scene. Road washed down, uproot trees, mailboxes where they are not supposed to be. Darlin Compton, deputy premier of PEI, told reporter, saying it had been a nerve-wracking night. Quebec Premier Francois Legault said no injuries or fatalities had been reported so far. An official from both PEI and Nova Scotia said the same. The storm weakened somewhat as it traveled north. By 2 p.m. in Halifax, it was over the Gulf of Saint Lawrence, about 105 miles west of Port Ox Basque. Trudeau delayed his plane Saturday departure for Japan to attend the funeral of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.